Hey, how's it going, guys? I want to thank Max Free for sending out this S2 tri screen extender. On here, there are some specs showing that it's 14 inches, it's full HD, 1080p at, at 60 hertz, and it has 300 nits, which is about the average for a laptop brightness. Inside, got some stuff here. This looks like a cover or case for it, which is always nice to have because it makes it a little easier to put inside a backpack. I mean, knowing that it won't get damaged or scratched up. It looks like there's a little pouch on here, too, and then this is pretty securely in in there and then i wanted to take it out let's see this actually oh this is also kind of like a little bag too because there are these handles so that's kind of nice and by the way this is also hard it's not completely soft so got some more cables and stuff here not really going to go over everything but might need to use most of these if not all of these just to set this up on my laptop looks like there's one more hiding here on the side a usb-c to usb-a cable and it looks like there was also a strap on here that kind of kept it in place even though i don't think it's going to fall out open i guess it could but there is a magnetic piece that holds it together on the side here and on one side got some ports here hdmi and two usb type c ports and it has this kind of carbon like finish which is I guess a little more unique than the average gel of these triple monitors. There's also the kickstand back here. So this kickstand is also kind of unique and different. This can get loosened up to adjust it to uh, increase the length. So if I come down here, I can do it here or come down here and then all the way down here and also go to the left side too. It extends pretty farther than the other triple monitors that I've seen. And then on the top, I noticed on both sides, there's a button that's kind of a multifunction button. It can be pressed down as a power button. And then there's also some more uses for it along along with like a menu selection confirmation, which I'll take a look at more in just a moment. And opening this up, get to the other side. That's what this looks like. It can be extended out by just like that. It doesn't go any further back, unlike other portable monitors. And then on this side, you can see the other ports for the right side of the monitor, which is the same two USB type C's and then a mini HDMI port. And interestingly enough, this is kind of locked in place. I mean, I just uh, moved it. It kind of retracts, so I have to pull it to like open this up. Let me just zoom out for a second so it'll be easier to understand so pull this out so then this opens up too and then this this hinge on the back is completely retractable it doesn't really stay out in place so that's kind of nice it'll stay nice and firm on the laptop itself and then on the top there is this kind of clip that you open and it'll kind of lay on top nicely on the laptop so let me get my laptop here here's my laptop and like i showed before just got to extend this and then it'll kind of like lock in place automatically and it'll stay nice and comfortably on my laptop let me bring it all the way down if i don't have that kickstand it'll just come flying down because this is top heavy not flying down but falling down and as i'm doing this i'm realizing that this is actually not long enough because it comes back and it stays back at a kind of slightly farther angle but if i want it 90 degrees exactly then it's like i'm not going to be able to do that don't get me wrong this is not a deal breaker by any means because this is still fine it's not like it's not usable at all as i'm uh, testing this out i'm noticing that if i have these closer in the weight kind of carries forward it doesn't like hold it back so i can view this at, an, at a 90 degree angle but if i have it all the way back out like this then it's gonna start leaning backwards and that's when i need to use the kickstand otherwise it's not necessary and this also stays in place pretty well from what i could tell here and uh, no no issues with it staying on usually these don't really have that many issues with it like staying in place or whatever so even after getting that other hdmi cable hdmi to USB C, I have it plugged in it's powered on because i can see the red light there there's a blue light here because this is working just fine this one does power up so only one side works to get the other side to work, I guess you do need to have a laptop that has two supporting USB-C ports through video or via video support. Because as you can see here, it turns on, but it still doesn't connect even with a separate dual HDMI cable, which I've used in the past for many different triple portable monitors, the old generation ones, I would say. There's a new generation one out there or new generation ones. There's like the foldable monitors or ones that require just like a power port and then one to connect one channel or one source to connect both monitors so to create it like a triple portable monitor and so that's what i'd go with instead of this one because it's so like it's a little more complex to connect everything and figure it all out i'm sure if you do have a laptop with that then this might be worth checking out because it did drop in price but unfortunately it's still hard to figure it out at least on my end so because of that alone makes me not want to recommend this unless if you do again have that laptop and there are those other options out there that only use one source or one channel to connect both 
both of these cables instead of you know doing all this back here where I gotta have one cable to power this and then another to connect it to my laptop. And then on the other side, I have another cable to power this side and then as well as connect this onto my laptop, which it's not even connected yet, by the way. I had to use the StarTech dual HDMI cable or adapter so that I can have two HDMI ports, two more to connect it through here. And unfortunately this time it didn't work. So that's why on my end, I can't recommend this. But if you guys have any suggestions, I'd be happy to listen to it. But either way, stay tuned because I'll have some more coming out. I'll be checking out. And then I'll also have those other videos. I have like an annotation or an end card somewhere here where you can check those out too. They're a lot easier, a lot more efficient, and I'd say portable. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching.